Patty, look, you have an official guest prep sheet. Patty! Hi, guys! Patty Rodriguez. I miss back. all of you. Miss we told you you, you would. Hey! <laughs> I still dream about you, Ryan. Really? <laughs> Tell me, what have you dreamt about lately? <laughs> Just you're in my dreams. Uh, I think I told Tanya one of the dreams. Actually, we were at a, at a house and uh, I just it, it's you know how dreams are just really crazy. But you're in my dreams. Well, wait, Tanya, you didn't tell me about the dream. Yeah, because uh, I can't remember. Oh, she texted me over the weekend. Well, that doesn't still tell me about the dream. <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? We're in the communication because business. You, you know how I used to have a dream of both of you guys like hooking up. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't that. Uh, it wasn't that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it's so clear to me now. Uh, Patty, it is great to have you back. So before we get into everything and catching up, I didn't know Tanya and Sisney revealed to me, I and mean, you were always t on time here, but they said to me, because we were talking about Becca, her best friend Becca is always late. Tanya mm -hmm. told me and Sisney told me that you run late all the time. I didn't know oh, that. Oh, all the time. I didn't all know that. Time. Did you hide it from me? But she doesn't um, do it professionally, only for like events, like a dinner or like things like that. But I think to work, she was always on time. Well, I mean, that's uh, questionable, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You'd, you'd have to ask Mark, but uh, I'm always. There's your song. There it is. That's what I was looking for. All right. So, how is life without us? <laughs> Uh, it's really good, but there's like a little gray cloud. Yeah. I still miss you guys. I really miss you guys a lot. Um, but, you know, Why life is you, good. You left in February. And it feels like it was months. a long time it ago. It does seem like really? a long time. How's Michael? He's good. Alexander and Oliver? They're great. Well, we're great all caught up. kids. <laughs> <laughs> we're all caught up. Oliver so, lost his two front teeth. Oh. oh. Tooth fairy. So Cute. Yeah, what back the, to back. What did the tooth fairy bring him? Uh, five dollars. Oh my god. Right. Well, the tooth fairy's doing better. Inflation's wow. up. Tooth no, fairy's not in, feeling inflation, it. Inflation. Inflation. <laughs> do you keep yeah. his teeth? Did you save them, or what do you do? I have all his teeth. All no, come, the Ooh. tooth fairy. The tooth fairy Hello. Keeps the oh what right. What is wrong Guys, with your parental right. skills? Sorry. <laughs> well, uh, I have. I have a connection. This deal with the tooth fairy. Yes, <laughs> and with that the. That a lot of people have. Yeah. All right. Listen. I have official prep here that says Patty Rodriguez is back. Episode one of her new podcast, Out of the Shadows, is out now on iHeartRadio or wherever you two. get your podcasts. Tell us about the podcast. It's a, it's a podcast about the year 1986, um, actually November of 1986, when President Ronald Reagan signed the amnesty bill that gave over 3 million immigrants legal residency. And... Uh, it, uh, those uh, two of those people were my parents. And uh, a few years ago, I was reflecting on all these things that were happening to me. And I was trying to understand why they were happening. And I uh, always believe that there's a connection to, to the past, yeah. to the moments that we're here, why we're here now. And these things were not just happening to me. I was seeing uh, friends of mine from my own community, just they're thriving, they're growing, they're creating businesses, they're buying homes, they're running running um for office and i'm just like why is this happening right now and i was like wait a minute if my parents got amnesty in 86 let me go find out if other people got amnesty as well and i find out that it's three million total wow and that changed an entire generation uh millennials 25 percent of millennials are latinos and we are these millennials. We're the ones that are moving this country forward. Mm -hmm. And it all happened because this president decided with his pen to allow us to come out of the shadows. And as I was doing this podcast, I was interviewing both my parents and I asked my dad, if you had not received amnesty, what do you think would have been of us? Oh, wow. And he says, I don't even want to imagine it. Wow. Wow. So Patty, it is interesting to think back to your specific instance with your parents and then the impact that all of those who are granted amnesty uh, get their freedom, have this generation that will move the ball, that will move mm -hmm. technology, innovation, politics. It will move our exactly. mindsets. It will move the, the, the hopefully what's happening around the planet. Like that's it's like it's like exciting that there's this 
generation that will be empowered to do so. Will each episode have a different topic, theme, category? Well, each episode, uh, we tell the story from the beginning. Uh, we actually start with the story of my mom and me. Um, I actually crossed the border when I was three years old with my parents. And we talk about that story there in episode one. And then we just move toward the history of uh, immigration, starting with the Braceros in the 1950s. And I ended up finding out that my grandfather was a Bracero. And a Bracero was, uh, it's the name given to thousands of Mexican men that were allowed to come to the U.S. with the permit to come and work the fields during the, uh, during the war. Wow. Yeah, because all the, all the men were out fighting the war and there was nobody to care for the fields. So Mexico and the U.S. decided to create this program called the Bracero Program and allowed Mexican men to come here and work the fields. Uh, and that's where this immigration story starts. Wow. Such rich history yeah. in these stories. Patty Rodriguez. Okay, Patty, I'm just watching you tell this story and I'm thinking about the award show where you will be there as, uh, I don't know, like who's, who's your entrepreneurial idol in the entertainment world, in the storytelling world? Oh, Jessica Alba. Okay, so when you are up there, <laughs> you're doing your Jessica talks, Ted talks, Jessica talks, your Patty talks. I can't wait to remember all of these moments because we got to see the bite size pieces, the bite size ideas, mm -hmm. the bite size uh, just notions come together over time and slowly. It didn't happen fast, but slowly. Mm -hmm. And you're forwarding me articles from industry trade magazines talking about different things you're doing. So I'm just marking our words here that we'll all be in the audience. Of course, we're going to want to thank you, but we'll all be in the audience. They're cheering you on because I see it. And I rarely see things clearly. I see this happening for you. So I'm, I'm just, I get chills seeing you and being prideful. I feel like you are such a family member of ours. And I'm so, I, I, people, I don't, I, sometimes there's a negative connotation when people say proud, but I am proud, man. You know? Yeah. Same. I'm proud Thank of you. Thank you so much. No negative. I, 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 you I, make me cry. I said this to you. Um, I, I really believe you the impact that you've made for me, I don't think you will ever make it for anyone. <laughs> I just want you to know that. Thank you. Um, uh, it, you, you are, you're very special and you're part of our team and family and good luck with this podcast. You can check it out. All right, Patty, we expect some regular appearances. Okay. Big of hugs. Course. All right. We'll Bye. see you Love soon. You. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. What was the dream? She said she had to shoot like you were it was heavily you and like that she had come back. She came back to the show. and I, But I, I don't know if it was for a day, like for an interview or if she like just popped back in. Well, she did just do that. Are you sure that was the dream? Or yes, it was a dream. It was a dream. And then I was like, what do you think that means? And then she never she didn't respond. <laughs> well, she's running an empire. No, I'm trying to think. Was she... <laughs> All right, well, you can you can look.